on the next episode of Sip Suds and Smokes. It's time for good old boy Dave to rope us into yet another questionable decision. For today's episode, I've curated a flight that is perfect for a hot summer day. We've covered German Rattlers and British Shandies, but there's one more tradition of adding fruit to beers, the Chilada, and its crazy cousin, the Michelada. Created in Mexico, a Chilada is simply a light lager with lime juice and a dash of salt. A Michelada is almost like a Bloody Mary, but with beer, tomato juice, hot sauce, lime juice, and a beer. Both, if done right, come in a rimmed glass. We'll be serving some homemade shalada and michelada along with RTD versions. We'll be right back after this break. Almost live from the dude in the basement studios. Why? Because that's where the good stuff is. It sips, suds, and smokes with your smoke and host, the good old boys. Suds, suds, it's time for more suds. Was that a sound effect, Dave? That's a sound effect. (laughs) Welcome, everyone, to another sud segment where the sound effects are very real. Hey, my dad says better out than in. (laughs) (laughs) And where old beers are like old people. Without the proper care, they can be prone to leak at the most (laughs) inconvenient time. I'm Not wearing, that that's ever happened. I'm wearing, oh. you know, midlife depends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Good Oka Juliana. Is that and, our new sponsor? Midlife yeah. depends. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Brought right? to you by. <laughs> Joining me at the table today is Good Old Boy Kendall. Hi there. Hello. I would say it's great to be here, but I know what season it's coming up on, so I'm not so sure. Yeah. He's to suspicious. be determined. Sounds <laughs> delightful. <laughs> Reverend Mark, hello, greetings, salutations. Good to finally be back. The girls have missed you. Mm. <laughs> and good old boy Mike. Hello. A grande el jefe. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Dave. Yes. Just get that right off, Spe- right out of the gate. Dave. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of blue tick, hello, good old boy Dave. Hey. Were we speaking of blue tick? I don't know. Just oh, okay. Looking at your shirt. Oh, well, my eyes are up here, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How wrong of me. I'm so sorry. I'm blinded. <laughs> well, summertime has come again, folks. Summertime. Mm-hmm. And the living is easy. And you know what that means. More el jefe. <laughs> It's time for good old boy Dave to rope us into yet another questionable decision. Sounds delightful. It's become an annual tradition that during the hottest months of the year, we put aside all the tasty, lovely new craft beer we like to try, and instead, we taste... Well, who knows what it's going to be this time. Hey, buddy, you want that green, uh, you know, can of uh, stuff from the back cooler or uh, what? (laughs) Makes your innards glow. (laughs) Mm. Yeah. Well, good old boy, Dave. Go ahead and just tell us about today's stomach ache. Stomach ache? How dare you? (laughs) For today's episode, I've curated a flight that is perfect for a hot summer day. (laughs) We've covered German Rattlers and British Shandies. But there's one more tradition of adding fruit to beers. I'm not talking about Mike. For Chilada, the Chilada, Hello. and its crazy cousin, the Michelada. <laughs> Three snaps. <laughs> they only like their owners, though. 
<laughs> oh, that's another thing. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know where this is going. <laughs> and we're off the rails. Mike, no. call the legal team now. <laughs> oh, wait, you is a crazy team. auntie, a crazy uh, cousin, or a crazy auntie? Oh, uh, I, I don't know to give you a dry. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you that. <laughs> ah, well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> We have established a partial victory. He stomped me, so I didn't, I didn't know. Oh, wow. Was he funny? Ah, it's always hard to tell with him. Yeah. <laughs> Flip a coin again. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, created in Mexico, Echelada is simply a light lager with lime juice and a dash of salt. A Michelada is almost like a Bloody Mary, but with beer, tomato juice, hot sauce, lime juice, and a beer. Both, if done right, come in a rimmed glass. And if there was a camera here, you could see that we do have some lovely... They look really good. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Right? Let's hope they taste... Great great ambiance. So today, to keep this as questionable as possible, because, I mean, that's us, we'll be serving some homemade shalada and michelada along with RTD versions. To avoid any preconceived impressions, though... Bye, Mike. And also to test the good old boys' palates. I hated it. <laughs> we'll be tasting them all blind and revealing the name and flavor of each one after we discuss and read it. it smells like Dave. There will be no ones or twos today. I'm making no. a prediction. Oh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. That sounds like, yeah, that's pre- that's that sounds like preconceived to me. <laughs> That is a challenge. All right. Reverend Mark, please give us the Suds ratings for today. Be glad to. Today we'll be discussing and rating these beers with these Suds ratings, plus our signature belching sounds. Our micheladas, not beers, man. (laughs) Here are those ratings now. Number one, that sucks. Give me anything but Montezuma's Revenge. Ay, ay, ay. Number two, was that a belch? Uncle Larry, that was you again. (laughs) There's no stopping him. Number three, ah, what a relief. That's what B-Boss sounds like. (laughs) Number four, a body should really not make that sound. Uh, I'm not going to tell your wife to make that sound. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. And number five, number cinco. Listen to that hang time. Give me another. Poppy, he make that big sound like that. <laughs> well, thank you, Reverend Mark. That was exceptional. That's what they told me <laughs> when I was little. <laughs> Sounds delightful. <laughs> Wow. You're exceptional. Oh, he's he's a special lad. Yeah, I was about to say. He's come long, so far. How long did you get to ride on the short bus? <laughs> you know, I, I whenever an airplane come by, I'd run out, and go airplane, airplane, and my mom thought that was so sweet. But I was like fifteen. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, hey, is, wow. Keep on moving there. Okay. Uh, okay. So he's okay. Roadblock. Just a slight oh. roadblock. We're oh. good. Okay. So, good old boy Dave. Okay. So, uh, let's drink the baseline chilada. So, just the, the one in the rim glass. Okay. Just So, is the lime a garnish? Or are we supposed to squeeze that in? It's already got lime juice in. If I you got feel a, like you need a little. I got a, uh, a traveler here, you know, in my. Um, so, um, <laughs> you, know, you got a floater? I got a floater. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't think it's a uh, Mexican bug either, man. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Refreshing. Mm-hmm. It is refreshing. Now, this is made with Modelo Especial. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and yeah, um, fresh lime juice. Senora, is Squeezed it good. with my own little hands. But, uh... I mean, it's similar to a margarita. Yeah. Just, yeah, kind of similar flavors. Same Just basic More, more mm-hmm. beer. Yeah, I definitely don't have that little bit of tequila bite. Yeah. I think uh, one of the things that Oh, to me, is distinguishing of having a good uh, michelada or chilada is uh, the, how fresh either the lime juice mm-hmm. or the tomato Absolutely. juice is. Yep. So 
I am betting that the RTDs, my preconceived notion, will suck compared to those that would be made with fresh ingredients. Sure. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. But, you know, it's worth a shot. Okay, so on the basis of this homemade, would you drink it? Well, even though Dave made it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I washed my hands. There's that. I mean, and yeah. what would we rate it? Oh, a solid three, man. Mm. All right. Three. Okay. Three it is. Okay. So now we're going to go to A. A. So can A. Can A. Is something. Okay. And you guys just taste it and then let's talk about it and then we'll rate it. Hmm. So the color is very similar yes. to the homemade. Mm-hmm. This is uh, just a pale straw color. Uh, the first thing that jumps out to me is the uh, salt. This is, has an awful lot of salinity about it. Mm. It just is all over the it's front surprising. edge. Yeah. 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 Right. Yep. yep. And there's some lime on the nose, but the lime is not prominent like it is in a fresh one. Yeah. And so if you were thinking that, uh, well, that's how the glass was rimmed. This is definitely a product that you do not want to put it in a mm-hmm. rim glass. It'd be plain no. of salt. No. It would be it would be salt stacked on top of salt. Yeah. yeah. So this is like wow, I'm in the kayak and I don't want to you know rim my glasses while I'm floating down. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's almost got like a goza kind of yeah, yeah that's actually pretty good for Dave. me because right. there's a little bit of lime which gives you a little bit of it acidity. has that acidulated malt component yeah. to it yeah and then mm-hmm. it's got the little bit of salinity it reminds me honestly of uinta's lime pilsner they put out yeah uh, that's except, good as well Kendall. minus yeah. the salinity that yeah. was yeah. such a good beer lime works so well in a light lager i think red mark oh yeah it does I, I with the salt in it it also has a certain minerality to it, mm-hmm. a mineral aspect. So I'm thinking of Perrier somewhat, lime Perrier, yeah. but with a little bit of, tiny little bit of malt to cover that over. But I think it's the salt that's doing that, giving that that mineral. Did you get the next one? I don't know. Yeah, roadblock. Oh, roadblock. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> okay. What do you think about it, Julia? So... When you take the fresh one, right, you're getting a taste of the salt before you get into the drink. It's like with this one, the salt is already on top, and it's like a thick layer of salt that you have to get through. It's like it, it's already been dumped in there for you, um, and it makes me appreciate fresh lime juice mm-hmm. a yeah. lot, Yeah, you know? Yeah, I think the, the fresh one would be much, much better on a hot day, sure. too. However, yeah, desperate times, yep. desperate measures, and this one actually isn't bad. And like sure. Mike said, if you're looking for something that's in a can you can take anywhere, take to a picnic, float down the river, whatever, this is a good, solid option. So this yeah. is called. This is from Modelo. It's the Shalada Limon E Salt. So and we it's are the going basic to, Yeah, and we're going to rate yep. this a three. All right. Yeah, you know, I think compared to the fresh one that we had, I didn't think that it was better or worse, you know, and Mm -hmm. I think our ratings, you know, align that way. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. I like more to come after a brief interlude. (laughs) Welcome back, everyone. Today is a summer of questionable decisions. And good old boy, Dave, what is today's? We are drinking chiladas and enchiladas, Mm -hmm. the Mexican Rattler. Sure. We should have had enchiladas too. That I, were, yeah. We don't have any little dogs here. Okay. Uh, what do you call those? Like Chihuahua, a right? Chi- okay. Reverend Mark. Uh, Chihuahua. Yeah. Uh, Reverend Mark, he got a Chihuahua story. Yeah. Is it about a dog or were you in Chihuahua, Mexico? <laughs> uh, both. Both. Okay. No, it's about a family that I knew. And this was, gosh, this was like 30 years ago. But, you know, they were like real persnickety about dog breeding and they wanted. <laughs> Uh, they Gosh, wanted like a purebred Chihuahua, which is you know like a, called a Mexican. That'd hairless. be like the most interesting small talk at, a, at a, any gathering. So what do you do? Well, I breed Chihuahuas. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Man, did yeah. you like lose something on Career Day? Yeah. <laughs> were, you the, were you the kid that they went? Man, he's ugly. He's going to be the dog breeder of Chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very Dang. special breed. Some say they actually come from the fox rather than the wolf, but um, that's another story entirely. Or the weasel. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, this this family that I knew went down to Mexico to find a, 
a Mexican hairless breeder, you know. And Wait, the, the, the breeder, the breeder or hairless or the dog? Or the dog? That's that my is, question. Well, <laughs> well, they had to find the breeder first, and then they found the dog. Uh, but they they asked around, yeah. and they were pointed in a direction. It looked a, a little bit sketchy, dicey. Yeah, yeah, but they they made it there, and it was just a newborn. So you know, tiny little pup, tiny tiny little pup. So they brought it back home, and like you know, six months later, it's still this tiny tiny little pup, and they know that. You know, it's supposed to be a small dog, but so they they eventually took it to the vet and they said, you know, we went down to Mexico. Where's the hair? We, on this dog? we got this this <laughs> this hairless. We know they're the tiniest of this particular breed, but I mean, it it's not grown an inch in six months. Super grande pico it, no, chihuahua. <laughs> it's muy poquito, you know, and so <laughs> <laughs> so the the vet kind of looked it over and he goes. He says, well, he says, what we got here is a rat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> They've had a rat for six months, <laughs> and they thought it was a dog. How is that possible? <laughs> oh. Did it have a – because don't – do chihuahuas, chihuahuas don't have long oh, that tails. That is hilarious. Right? Not really. Wow. Like, yeah. how do you not know a freaking rat? You yeah. know, I mean, oh chihuahuas look God. like I think this answers my own question. If you knew that this was the guy on career day that was going to have to make a bad choice, this is what happens. Is, you know, uh, what you know Reverend what? Mark didn't mention in the story is that oh these goodness. people were all horrible alcoholics. <laughs> I bet you they had the michelada. Like, what about that? <laughs> like, man? every time. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. Man. So, did they keep the rat? Or did, oh. you, did you feed them? Oh, yeah. By that time, they bonded, you know. Yeah. I mean, so. Would been. you feed it uh, chelada or michelada? You know? Yeah. He likes a bowl, right? Oh, you see? Man. Yeah. Wow. That... Well, I think we need to go okay. to the next Keep going. That was, yeah. uh, oh, wow. Let's, uh, can let's we tell go. stories like you Reverend Mark? Uh, that's just missing a t shirt. <laughs> yeah. I breed hairless rats. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, all right. That one. This one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the pink I picked one. up the this wrong one. one. Yeah. Okay. That one. Yeah, we're so, doing the pink one. Yeah, so the next one is sort of pink cute. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You guys, mm. the first two suckered you guys in. You're like, oh, this is going to be pretty good. Uh, you know, I need to, uh, I need to move this to a different uh, geography. Uh, el, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just killed Mike. Mm. Oh, he's he's uh, dialing in his like southern this. voice. Over here. Hmm. Yeah, not the same as the last one. Huh. And that, oh, yes. You know, this tastes like. Like, like those strawberries that are way too ripe, like a, mm. or just bad strawberry shortcake, you know, it's been or somebody rotten. Yeah. blended it with a Zima. Just, yeah. yeah, bad, yeah. yeah, bad strawberry candy, and too it, much salt, and it, yeah, mm-hmm. it really makes the salt it's like, like nothing come working way out. out. So not much, much wow. lime in it, yeah. but it's just kind of a mess, and it's got a little heat to it. It's yeah, cool. and it's kind of like a really, really old Jolly Rancher that was in your bong. For, yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'd almost rather drink a strawberry Jolly Rancher and a Zima yep. than this. This is something that I would probably give to my ugliest cousin. You, know? you guys remember earlier yeah. when I said there'd be no ones or twos? Yeah, <laughs> this is this is definitely yeah. a, like a minus three. That yeah. might have changed. That's that what, what I know. Saying? I was saying there, it's not even a one. So. You know, I think if you put, probably put some Cool Whip on top of this, it would still suck. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Would it be better if it had less salt? Uh, yes. No, it would still suck. This I mean, strawberry it still is suck. so I'm overwhelming. It be- yeah. It is way too sweet yeah. and nothing in balance, and it tastes like, you know, yeah. you got out of one of those uh, <sighs> cola machines that has like 42 different flavors, and somebody hit the that's wrong true. Button. It is sweet. If you take the salt away, it'd probably seem cloying. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's like... It's like there's degrees, right? The first degree is the salt that hits you. Then you're getting this super sweet strawberry. But then there's this heat at the end that comes out of nowhere yeah. that you're like, mm. is this animal, vegetable, it's or like, mineral? How like, could I'm, I'm make, confused. How could yep. I make this not enjoyable in three separate ways? Yeah, yeah. exactly, Dave. <laughs> I, I like that. You can fail on every single yes. thing that you were trying to hit. and Too hot, and you, too salty, too sweet. This is what it would be like in yeah. the glass, you know, for sure. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. well, 
what this is. I would feed folks. that to a hairless rat, man. <laughs> this is another Modelo. Mm. <laughs> and this is fresh, fresh uh, picante. So hot strawberry. Mm. Yeah, no. That used no. to be oh, my stripper name. Oh, they used chilies. Uh, no. What you call hot yeah. hot strawberry back in high school, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a disappointment because the the lemon and salt one was pretty good. Right. It's so it's like when you, yeah. you start getting a little too they got a little too cocky. I think mm. with this one, yeah, they yeah. ruined yeah. they ruined some Modelo with yeah. that. I like that. You know, it could be my next non de plume name. Uh, yeah. You know, hot Dave, strawberry. Hot strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a stage name. That's yeah. a, that's a now clip. stage yeah. number four. Hot yeah. strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, I'm gonna. Ask a dumb question. Have you ever eaten a meal where strawberries were in the meal and they were spicy strawberry or like Never peppery now. strawberries? Okay. No. So, no, right? I mean, maybe I had one dish that had like hot honey on it with strawberries, but that's the extent of it. Yeah. That's about as close I don't as think I can remember. It's inherently a bad idea to have strawberries with maybe a little chili or something spicy, but. But then you dump a bunch of salt on it. I don't know, man. Yeah, like a, a strawberry salsa is yeah, is good, okay. you know, because okay. it gives a little acid as well as sweet, you know. Okay. But this sure. is way over the line. Sure. And I've had like balsamic <clears throat> strawberries, which mm-hmm. are really neat. But mm. I, 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 I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving on. What Let's we, go back. Uh, we, yeah, we. I oh, know we didn't hit the button. Though. Oh, we we're one. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a one. It's yeah. a one. Okay. Man, it smells like a Harris lad. Oh, <laughs> a hairless rat. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's That's move on to something lad. that is more in line with the color. Well, that the color's had. back. So yeah, that's the right. color's. I like that. A blondish mm. thing. Yes. Mm. Um, it's wow. better than the last that one. That is super sweet. Holy crap. Wow. I haven't even tasted it, it's but I'm like getting a, a ton of pineapple. It's more like yeah, a, a, a cream ale that's yeah. been flavored up. Yeah. This is just like sipping a, from a can of Dole. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. With some yep. salt in it. Yep. A lot of salt. Mm. I mean, yeah. I understand that salt enhances sweet flavors, but. No. Uh, I would yeah. give this to my second ugliest cousin. Yep. <laughs> not as bad as the strawberry. Not as bad Boy. as the strawberry, but, but it's still not bad. good. And still that independently failing on every front, you yeah. know, like it's too much salt. It's too much sugar. It's, I think inherently it's too much the, pineapple. the pineapple can balance out the, the sugar or the salt a little bit better than the strawberry did. But or maybe just the pineapple flavor is better than the strawberry. Flavor I think even was. watered down. This would suck. <laughs> Yeah. If this was a hairless rat, it's Kendall working on the, uh, it would the, still not be working good, on man. the cuvee. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> That's a brave moment. If you're headed down that path, Kendall. Oh, yeah. I think I should. Oh, wow. he's got to. Yeah. Wow. There's, a, there's a short form video moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Juliana, okay. what are you thinking about this one? Slightly better, but still offensive. <laughs> um, the only thing I could say about this is I think it would go well with some. Like fajitas or sangria or something (laughs) (laughs) or something like that. Salsa. Yeah. 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 I I, I mean, that's the only. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you were buying these in a store, you should look at the clerk and go, which one of these has been sitting here the longest and don't buy that one. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to rate this one now and. Yeah, let's go. Okay. We're going to rate this a two, and this one is also from Modelo, and this is the Pina Picante. So, again, it has a, the um, pineapple and chili peppers. So, they really enjoy chili peppers with their fruit. Well, you got to, I mean, it's not a, you know, it's not chilada if it ain't got a little just, zing to it. I've never seen Kendall make that face, you know, before. <laughs> I mean, it, it was yeah. like, it was, it was like, it's so much pain. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Yeah. All right, it, Kendall. It, it yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's have story time with Kendall. All right. Well, let's, let me tell you about a Michigan woman who was found living inside a grocery store sign with a, with a computer, desk, and coffee maker. Cool. Was she drinking one of these beverages? <laughs> Possibly. Probably many. So a Michigan woman was found living inside a sign on top of a grocery store um, that local police says makes you scratch your head. The unidentified 
year old woman uh, who police said was homeless. Well, not technically. She yeah, was living she in a sign. a sign. That's a home. Had been living in the grocery store sign for a year. And inside she had a, a desk, year. a coffee maker, a computer, and a printer. She was discovered on April 23rd when so contractors. So you she had good internet service there? I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> the store's probably got good Wi-Fi, dude. Don't you got to get the password? So um, she was discovered on April 23rd when contractors at the store noticed someone was running an extension cord to the roof where there's a plug-in. Um, got to have the coffee, man. And it says, it's a story that makes you scratch your head. Just somebody living up in a sign, says Midland Police Officer Brennan Warren. Uh, there was some flooring that was laid down, a mini desk, her clothing, a curry coffee maker, a printer, and a computer. All the things you would have at home. Well, makes sense. It was her home. Except a bathroom and a yeah. shower. And- yeah, I was thinking about that, too. The sign is about five feet wide and has a door, so not a lot of square footage. Um, but he says, I honestly don't know how she's getting up there. She didn't indicate that either. There was no sign of a ladder. Uh, Brennan explained that the five foot wide, eight foot high sign is accessible from the roof of the store and has a door. So it's a UFO story, man, right? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> they put her up in the beam. I think that they should, you know, like housing can be hard to find. Yeah. So they yeah, gave her some information on where she could find some services in the area and she took off from there. Uh, the woman told the, the police that she had been living in this sign uh, for a year and working elsewhere. Uh, she's not facing any charges since she agreed to debate uh, to vacate the sign. Um, and the uh, grocery store company said that their uh, staff was trying to be compassionate and professional in responding to the woman, uh, making sure she was safe. Um, and in this time where there's not a lot of affordable housing. So weird story, but kind of sad too. So they kicked yeah. her out and then they cleaned the place and then rented it back out. <laughs> <laughs> probably for twice of what she twice was of what she was paying. Right. Correct. Yeah. And it's, it's really sad there. that she had to drink that kind of coffee. Yeah, that's the worst part. Of it. You know, she was probably she was probably living she was living off the chalada, man. But yeah, living in a sign. Well, not just the bathroom, but it's Michigan. You know, it gets cold there in the winter. That's what I was thinking about right? too. Like this is like a hundred some miles north of, of Detroit. I so. bet you she had a hairless pet uh, pet rat. <laughs> but maybe like, does the sign heat up? I, I mean, I don't know. Like maybe all the light bulbs keep it warm. She in was there. married to the rat breeder. Man. All the heat from the store. I don't know. But yeah, it, it can be really warm living in a sign. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And like, but you got to admit, though, it's kind of ingenious that she came up with that idea. She like put well, like, flowers on top. She, like, you know? how did she even get up there in the first place I to don't. figure out there's a door? Right. right. You know? Yeah. That's that's what's the odd part. How did she keep getting up on top of the grocery store without anybody knowing for a year? <clears throat> I'll say this. Yeah, right? I think that woman has great instincts on survival. And that's the kind of person, if stuff went down, the zombie apocalypse happens, you'd want her on your side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Finding yeah, shelter. No, that's, that's I would want to have one of these gelatas in my hand, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll get this next one in your okay, hand. Okay, so thank you for that story. All right, we're going off color again. Now, so. Yeah, off color. So not as, not as pink as before, but slightly mm. pinky, peachy something. Ooh, what is that? <sighs> it's just as bad as the other three, man. Okay, the aroma on this is weird. Yeah, peach is the dominant thing going on here. Almost like a peach watermelon. Looks like a little cherry. I don't know. That might be some Hmm. conflicting. The peach watermelon, that's a good call, too. Who would have thought peach and watermelon I actually think this one would be okay if it wasn't so salty. I told Dave that. Same, yeah. When he was talking about this show, I said, you know, this sounds like we've done this show already. It was the Zima and Jolly Rancher show. And after having four of these products, you could put them side by side of the Zima and Jolly Ranchers, and you would not notice the difference. Not much. Except for the salt. I was going to say, unless you dump a bunch of salt. This one is more Jolly Rancher than any so far from me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. much so. Yeah, the sugars are incredibly simple oh. and pronounced and make you make that noise. So, <laughs> and these just like all, JB's face there, she she was like, "Oh man, these all come in those really big cans." Yeah, that's so like you're drinking a bunch of. This. I think if you want, they need to, have to put a, a bloat warning on there, like like a uh, a really short baby shower. Serve this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. Or, or just a short baby. Mm. I... Uncle Mike came by. He dropped off these chiladas. You know, they were free. Let's Everybody went home. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, uh, mm. Let me pet your rat. <laughs> Wow. Drink a few of these. Somebody might let you pet the rat. Well, and let's think about where we got some of these from. Was it West Virginia? Oh, that, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here. Right? I got some here and some in sure. West Virginia. I think, did I get any in Texas? What would be uh, the national flavor or the uh, state flavor there, Kendall? Man, man of West Virginia, right? I think I got some yeah, of those. It's hard Texas to say. And of all these flavors, which were the one they go? It's oh, that's not, from West Virginia. It's not man. known for its culinary uh, scene. Okay. I'm trying to think what, what, what really grows well there. What not they much of anything. What would they garnish with? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I go with a, squir- a squirrel pot see, pie. But... I've seen some of the meth plantations in West Virginia driving through. They're, it stuff grows they like crazy. They have a big sign next to the next to the case where this is teeth optional. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you in West Virginia buying uh, geladas? Well, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's the not one necess- I'm wondering. It's not necessarily that we Dave, went there listen, too. By. Just, just watch me. You lean in the microphone and go, Senator. I don't recollect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for the like sake of transparency, if one is driving home to visit family, that's you, in Pennsylvania. You should have just kept driving. <laughs> Well, if you have to, if you have yeah, to go potty, kind of, yeah, yeah. But if you yeah. have to go potty or like gas yeah. refill, it's hard and to get to Pennsylvania to, without going from West Virginia from this part pet. of the country. Yeah, you yeah. hairless rat man. I mean, you've got to stop somewhere. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> what are we thinking about this particular? Ah, uh, it's terrible. It moved okay. in the opposite direction. It's run. <laughs> okay. It's bad. This is going to be a one, and this is the. Watermelon Ooh. picante. How about right there, Ooh. you go. Spicy. So spicy watermelon. Spicy watermelon. Again, salt beer. They really enjoy. I still think there's some peach, but maybe that's okay. the pepper giving you that peachiness. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the moral mm-hmm. of the story is: is if we're going to get a Modelo Shalada, we got to go with the lime, lime and salt. And salt. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That was the only one that, yeah, even came close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. To be continued after this brief interlude. Welcome back, everyone. Um, to the summer of questionable decisions. It, yes, Keep it is. Keep on driving. Do not fill up yeah. your vehicle on yes. West Virginia. Okay. So, good old boy, Dave. This is your All right. child. All right. So, we've, Talk gone, to us. we've gone through the <laughs> chiladas. Basic is better. That's what we figured out. Yes. yes. Don't no, try to get too fancy. No flavors. No. Right. <clears throat> so no. now we're going to try micheladas. So it's like a Bloody Mary with uh, beer instead of vodka. So everyone try the baseline michelada in the rim glass. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I've got to move my hairless rat, man. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah. That does not suck. Ooh. Mm. Wow. It is spicy. That tahini on your rim is... Uh, that's, that's the way um, to go, man. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is half clamato juice, half uh, regular tomato juice. Okay. That's a very good combo there. So for those of you making at home, don't dump in just all tomato juice. It gets too sweet. Yep. And uh, there is no salinity ah, dang. in naturally in dang. a uh, in a tomato juice. And dang. I mean, when you have a tomato sandwich, that's one of the key ingredients you put on it. Is put salt, a little salt, right? Balance that sweetness. So I think the clam, uh, the clamata that you use was. I think this tahini's caught up in my mustache now. Yeah. That's going to be. I'm be paying for this later. Hmm. Yeah, great like choice. It. Really good, Dave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get, hey, man, I give that a five all day. All right. That one's right on cue. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice one. This would be good, good in the morning, a little of the hairless dog that bit you. <laughs> hairless rat that bit you. <laughs> hey, man, keep that thing on your side of the house. <laughs> okay, right. now we're going to try something else. All right, this is E. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. E is for everyone. Well, it smells like tomatoes. Rat. The color is, you know, cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It tastes like uh, Campbell's tomato soup watered down a little bit. That's not a bad way to describe it. 
So the salinity is completely different on this one versus the homemade one that we just had. So that yeah. uh, chlamydia, I mean. <laughs> what did you say it was? Clamato. Clamato. That's right. I'm sorry, Dave. I got those things confused. <laughs> How? It happens. It happens. You know, a lot of fellas. A chihuahua. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Dang them. Yeah, I, that's, that's what it is to me. This is. Like when you're it making, has to, it has the odor of tomatoes. It's it to me. It smells like. And I, when I was in high school, I worked at a Pizza Hut, and you know the dipping sauce you get with your yeah. breadsticks. Oh. It smells like that to oh, me. Pizza right. Hut oh. marinara yeah. dipping sauce. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's pretty good. Everybody smelled that one. Yeah, it's like it's not, once. It's not terrible. Yeah. It's not terrible, but it's but not something I would no, go to. I would I think, not. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> what do you guys? It's yeah, out of yeah. balance, you know. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. And what do you think, Juliana? Um, I think you're. Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, the tomato juice is, or the tomatoiness is like kind of excessive on the nose. Mm-hmm. You know, they, and you know, you're in for a <clears throat> treat. <laughs> well, I think Dave's homemade mm-hmm. one really set the bar so high. Mm-hmm, it was mm-hmm. so good mm-hmm. and balanced. Yep. And a great choice of ingredients. Uh, you know, I think all the RTDs are just doomed, you know, because that bar was set so high. And it's weird. I almost feel like I'm getting a lot of garlic on it or something. Like, mm. they've definitely, they're definitely yeah. putting some spices and yeah. different things in there. There's well, something I'm getting into like yeah. the, the marinara thing going on with it, not yeah. just tomatoes. Yeah. 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 So there's, there's an extra zhuzh of something. <sighs> okay. So. What shall we? Uh, did we rate it? I don't. Uh, did we? Uh, no, we're oh, yeah. oh, Reverend Mark. What do you think about it, though? Sorry. Well, the salinity is not as off-putting as in the previous examples, but there's no comparison mm. to the. You like the one with chlamydia? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. He did grow up. He did grow up in the '60s. So, I mean, who's to say? <laughs> oh, heartburn. All right, we're going one. We're going one. Yes. And this is the Modelo Especial Chilada. Just as simple as can be. With tomato, salt, and lime. Yeah. So. But I don't get any lime. Well, it's a good thing you can buy those by the can and not the four-pack. That's all right? I can say for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. Is uh, Grupo Modelo owned by InBev? I think they're standalone. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's hard to keep up these days. Things move around. Oh, <sighs> you know, the chlamydia is affecting my brain, man. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This one has a much uh, heavier mouthfeel on it. Mm-hmm. it. It's sitting heavier on the palate. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can taste the beer. Yes. There's a little malt character to it um this has a balance (laughs) some (laughs) some less Um, tomato less salt it's less offensive than the last one how's that that's maybe i don't know that's usually how people greet dave you're less offensive than the last one yeah (laughs) Um, and then i start talking and they're like "Mm, then it's over i'll take it back Yeah, then it's then it's <clears> over. <throat> what about the the liquidy part? Can you drink the liquidy part? <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> what do you think, Reverend Mark? Well, I, I think these so called beer products uh, that we've sampled today kind of show you that I like that category, <laughs> so called beer products. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that 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 brewing basics um, are are not to be challenged. Meaning that if 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 you want to kind of like bend the edges of a sweet malty beverage, you do it with hops, not with salt. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it. All these have gone to Flavor Town. You yeah, know? yeah. Is and, that what that is? Ugh. I think they're in the wrong side of Flavor Town, though. Hmm. They're in the. This. But this one, <clears throat> this one is slightly more balanced, less than, offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little better. Yeah, yeah. Right. It is, but I'm getting, uh, I'm, I'm getting beer. Like for the first time, I'm actually tasting beer. Everything got with out my of the tomato. Way. Yeah. There was somebody in the room that said, "No, no, no. Let's put in less of that." 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering, though, if you went up, say, like on a beer hiatus or a, or a beer fast, let's say for a month, you know, in January, like a lot of people do, and you came upon this for your first beer after a month away from the beer world, would it be a big disappointment? Oh, I'd, I'd be in group therapy <laughs> for <laughs> six, three years. I'd take yes. off another month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I would go another month. Oh, Chihuahua, hand me the vodka, man. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, wow. Yeah. All okay. Right. Well, you know, a little better. What, better. Wow. So we're going with the two. Is this right. the uh, Mode- oh. no? This isn't the Modelo. Ooh, which? What is that? Budweiser. Wow. Clamato. It's that's- see the Clamato is the is the secret. I think. Hmm. I don't think the Modelo had Clamato. They just had regular tomato. Lager with natural flavors and vegetable juice for mm-hmm. color. <laughs> Vegetable juice. Oh, there's there's stuff in there. Yeah, there's stuff. Okay, five percent ABV. And if I, and I don't think I mentioned this before, but the um, Modelo. What's yeah, that one? The Modelos. I think yeah. they're like three and a half. Yeah, I've got to believe Are they're they? less than four. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, it's not it's, saying on it's there. such yeah. low ABV you can't even see it. Yeah, you can't. You can't even see it. And not even compliant. Yeah. With TTB. Wow. Yeah. Well, you can't touch us. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let's try this next one. Yeah. The Can Mola. G. That's right. This is our seventh one. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, different. It's no. kind of sweet in a weird way. Uh, like a sweet tomato. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm drinking soup. <laughs> it's very mm-hmm. savory. Mm. Uh, I don't this know. needs some serious citrus and lime. Yeah. And salt. It just is. Uh, <sighs> it feels punched down. Yep. I couldn't even. I couldn't warm this up and eat it with a this real cheese sandwich. This just needs some uh, saltine crackers <laughs> on the top of it. <laughs> and a spoon. That's um, that's beer. hair of something. Yeah, um, that one's pretty gross. Um, yeah, this is I have just to say. a bad idea. Yeah, it's just all over the place. Uh, yeah, we're moving in the opposite direction. But what is that? What is that that I'm tasting? It's uh, like it's almost like there's something like a, seafood or something it's in been there. there. Stirred with a hairless rat. Man. Well, I mean, it could be <laughs> that could be oh. clamato. Yeah, I mean. Oh my! What is that in there? Uh, that yeah. was Larry's uh, hairless pet rat. Yeah. Oh, mm. wow! That's hairless rat soup. Mm. Uh, well, we'll call it a Chihuahua though. <laughs> Trailer Park Sangria. Okay, <laughs> sangria. I, I don't. I don't even think the trailer. I think Trailer Park Sangria is better mm. than this. Um, yeah. So we're gonna depends on the trailer park. Rate this a one, and this is. Also, another Budweiser, and this mm. is Picante Clamato. So, lager with natural flavors and vegetable juice again for color, but this time with peppers. Yeah, so it's just a. So, but I don't. I didn't even get no, any spice. No, out of I no spice. No. But I was picking up, you know, a lot. Of, like I said, savory, but no real heat from spice. Yeah. It's just weird. No. Whereas with the Modelos, you were. Getting a heat at the end of the right. fruit. Do they do tasting panels on these things before they? Uh, they hire some guy out of the parking lot to go. Tell us which one doesn't yeah. suck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. All right. Last but not least, let's try this last one. All right. The color on it is oh. odd. It smells interesting. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. That's the worst. That's the worst of the bunch. <laughs> okay, this yeah. smells oh, wow. sweet. Very it's sweet. Right? It smells like a Jolly yeah. Rancher. It's definitely Jolly Rancher. Oh, definitely <laughs> Jolly Rancher time. Like, uh, like something's been blended. It tastes like badly. a Jolly Rancher that I I already swallowed and then threw up. Oh man! Mm. Okay, and then tried to this, eat again. Holy crap! Okay. This, this tastes like a <laughs> blend. Of, like I'm waiting for something <laughs> chunky. Mm. I, give me a minute. I might produce something. Chunky yeah, this is this is as bad as anything. I have to reset bad. my palate with the Darn. original. This is this, this is that is really bad. What? That's is, the worst okay, of the bunch. What is that? 
That sat on the shelf in West Virginia for at least Whoever five years. Whoever provided that for the show should be shot. <laughs> oh, my God. Bang, bang. <laughs> that is so bad. Um, How dare you, Jim? Yeah, Reverend Mark, do you have any thoughts on this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that whoever came up with these flavorings, it must have been someone like, remember Clark Griswold, who was with Family, you know, Family Vacation? Oh, yeah. He was a food additive specialist and yeah. put like, you know, shellac on cornflakes to make them look nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say whoever came up with this must be like the Marquis de Sade or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> but it's kind of like, Ooh. It, oh, man. it gives a whole new twist to the phrase um, you know, ultra processed. It just. It's just, Ooh, it's you know, ultra processed. I, I like that. That is it's wonderfully like, descriptive. It's probably shelf stable for five years. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'm thinking embalming fluid. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you yeah. might be on to something. Formaldehyde. Is that, is that what gives them that rosy <laughs> glow afterwards? <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely give that to a family member that I'm not quite sure if they're But family. even the color is <laughs> yep. just like turbid scary or something. I don't Oh, yours looks horrible compared yeah, to ours. Yeah, right? I think because I got the bottom. Oh yeah, you got the uh you got the dregs out of yeah. yours. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Okay. So we are going to rate this a one. So this is the Victoria Vicky Chamoy. Chamoy. It is a spiced herbal lager. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. idea. And like I'm looking at uh untapped right now and people are rating it like a five and a four. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you just can't go by that, can how you? How did they even figure out how to get on to Untapped? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is three and a half percent ABV. So for those of you that are watching your weight, this is perfect for I you. I think if you get invited to a bachelorette or bachelor party and you don't want to go and you want to send something there to make sure that those <laughs> friends have a good time and leave you out of it, send a case of that. <laughs> if you want to drink a beer named Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh. It's a man. shame what they did to Victoria beer because it's great that's on a, its own. That's a, it's a see, solid Mexican beer. That's her favorite, uh, Julianne's favorite uh, lager uh, from Mexico. I'm more yeah. of a Modelo guy, but yeah, Vicky, Victoria is good. But, uh, well, I had a, uh, I was, I just naturally stepped into tuning up for uh, this show today because I ate quesabira uh, for lunch today over at Garden Fresh. Best case of beer, uh, tacos in town. And uh, the other shows I have to record today are also about uh, products in Latino countries. So I've been learning how to cuss in in, uh, in Spanish and uh, other uh, dialects of uh, nice of how you speak Spanish Maybe in the Dominican Republic. Cigars as well. will burn some of this taste yeah. out of your mouth. If you want to sound like a local in the, in the uh, Dominican Republic, you just have to carry out the last part of any word. So it's like, Reverend Mark, it's a Kindle. (laughs) So, yeah, there you go. So I was trying to figure out what was on the can. And it's um, it's Victoria Cerveza with classic flavors of chamoy and tamarind. Uh, yeah, none of that works. Yeah. I think all the tamarin wound up Which in your glass. Victoria is actually owned yeah. by Grupo Modelo, too. Hey, so I think my all, uh, all tip out of today is uh, make them fresh. They're too good made that way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just make and, them fresh. And, and fresh is really tasty. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us today. As we recover. Kicking off the summer, baby. Let's say goodbye. Um, good old boy, Kendall. Thanks for being here. It's been a well, it's been fun, but I'm not sure it's been a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. This one was special. This is, a, this is a rough day. Yeah. Um, Sounds please delightful. tell us about your blog. <laughs> My wife and I blog about the good news of good beer at beermakes3.com. Reverend Mark, thanks so much for being here. It is such a joy. <laughs> and th- these products, were, even though they weren't worth their salt, <laughs> <laughs> it was still fun to comment on them. <laughs> Good boy, Mike. Thanks for being here. Adios, muchacho. Uh, hey, come back and enjoy another good episode of Seep, Suds, and Subs. Seep, Suds, and Smokes. <laughs> Tell you to keep on seeping. Good boy, Dave. 
I like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is good old gal Juliana. Keep on chuggling and catch you next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're listening to us online, do yourself a favor and tap, Just tap it in. the subscribe button. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a room. The easiest way to listen to our show is to ask Siri, Alexa, Google, Uncle Larry, or whoever it is that talks to you on your phone. Play podcast Sip Suds and Smokes. We love your feedback, and you can reach us at info at sipsudsandsmokes.com. Our tasting notes flow out on Twitter and Instagram with our handle at Sip Suds and Smokes, and our Facebook page is always buzzing with lots of news. You'll also be able to interact with the thousands, millions, and millions of other fans on those social media platforms. Do us a favor. Take the time to rate this episode if you're listening to us online. That's a big help to us, and we get to see your feedback as well. Come back, join us for another episode, and keep on sipping. been a one tan hand production of sip suds and smokes a program devoted to the appreciation of some of the finer slices of life from the dude in the basement studios your host the good old boys will see you all next time <laughs>